In this video, we are going to discuss about bubble sort program in Java. Now we all know that sorting is a process of arranging several items in a sequential order based on some criteria. So the several algorithms are there and they are used for sorting and amongst one of them is bubble sort. Now what exactly is bubble sort? Bubble sort algorithm an array is traversed. That means there are a sequence of number and that whole is stored in an array and it is traversed for arranging those numbers or sorting those numbers. It starts from the first element and traverses until the last element. For example, if I consider a particular array as 2, 5, 1, 7 and 6. So the bubble start will start sorting from this first element and traverse till this last element. The current element is compared with the next element and if the current element is greater than the next element then it is swapped. That means for example this particular element 2 is checked with this element, second element, the next element that is 5 and then what happens if this number is greater then it will be swapped. But here you can see that the number is lesser so this number will not get swapped and the process goes until the whole array is sorted. Now let us see firstly an example that how can we do the bubble sort. So the passes can be declared here as the first pass, second pass and how it does. So let us firstly check the conditions for the first pass which will be done for this sort. So here you can see that in this particular array there is 2, 5, 1, 7 and 6 are the numbers. So firstly there is 2, 5, 1, 7 and 6 and when the first pass occurs then what will be checked that comparison between these two elements will be done 2 and 5. Now we all know that 5 is greater than 2 hence no swapping will be done it will be returned same as 2, 5, 1, 7 and 6. Now the sorting will be done between 5 and 2. Now we all know that if it is checked and now the conditions are to be checked also. So here in this case swapping will take place since 5 is greater. So what will be the condition which will be checked here as 5 is greater than 1. So this condition is true that means 1 has to be put in the place of 5. So what will be the condition that has to be changed. So after traversing this the output or the result which we have is this and after this particular swapping is done then it will be 2, 1, 5, 7 and 6. This will be the array. Next it will be checked with 7. Now we all know that 5 is less than 7 so no swapping will be done. That means 2, sorry, 2, 1, 5, 7, 6. No swapping will be done so it will be same returned as 2, 1, 5, 7 and 6. Next the 7 will be checked with 6. These two elements are left now so these elements will be checked. So how it will be checked that we all know that 7 is greater that means swapping will be done. So how to do that the returned array or the last swapping which is done is this and after the swapping is done then it will be 6 and 7. This will be the outcome of the first pass that is the first pass of this particular bubble sort. Now next what we have to do we have to check for the third second pass of this particular array. So now let us do the second pass. Now in the second pass what have we as the last sorted array let me write that first 2, 1, 5, 6 and 7. Now the comparison will be done between 2 and 1. Now the condition here is true that 2 is greater than 1 so that has to be swapped hence it will be 1, 2, 5, 6 and then 7. Now 2 will be checked with 5 so this value is true also that 2 is less than 5 hence no swapping, 5 is less than 6 no swapping, 6 is less than 7 no swapping. So the array is already sorted in the second pass. So the returned array will be 1, 2, 5, 6 and 7. This is how the sorted array is returned. Now we know that the array is already sorted but our algorithm does not know if the process is completed. So the algorithm will traverse the full array again. That means it will check this full array 1, 2, 5 and 6 and 7 again so that it can be sure that all the traverses have been done there will be a 
third pass again to check where the array is actually sorted or not because we know as a human as i am calculating this i know but how will the compiler or the algorithm know that it is sorted so algorithm does not know the whole process is completed or not so it will check again these elements and it will check that these particular sorting is done that means checking one with two two with five 5 with 6 and 6 with 7 and at last is check the last element so it comes to be sorted hence the array is sorted. So the algorithm will traverse the full array again and check in the third pass. So after this pass the algorithm what will it done that the goal is completed and the sorting of this particular process is done. Next, what I want to do in this video is after explaining you the concept of bubble sort to execute a Java program that how can we write a Java program for sorting the element. So let us see the program first. So here you can see that I have written a code for bubble sort. Firstly, you can see in the public class, I created a class bubble sort and in that particular bubble sort, I have created a method static void bubble and it is having parameter int array that means it is passing an array in it. The intent is actually storing the array length that is ar.length and that is a temp variable initialized that is temp0. Now in the for loop we have seen the execution and the syntax of the for loop and the nesting for loop is also done in that. So here you can see I have executed two for loop int i equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus and similarly j which is executing one less time than i and j plus plus. And now here you can see this particular code in the if for sorting of array as we checked if the right side element or the first element is greater then the swapping will be done. So if j minus 1 is greater than j then swapping will be done with the help of a third variable created that is temp. So temp will store the value of j minus 1. j minus 1 that particular place in the array will be given to j and then but lastly j will have the value of temp. So this is how sorting will be done with the help of for loop and I have created the method bubble for it. Now in the main method I have initialized the array int arr and I have given the array certain values that is 5, 76, 65, 81, 45 and 23. Firstly it will print the array before sorting with the help of for loop. It will print the elements one by one according to the array length which is specified and then after a print tell in a new line, I have called this particular method bubble which I have declared and what parameter here int array and array has to be passed to the parameter so I have passed this array here and it will print me the array after sorting after this complete method and the member functions which I have initialized here will be initiated and the process will be done and then it will print the same array after sorting with the help of a for loop. Now I am going to run this program and see whether it returns me the correct output or not. So here you can see that the array before sorting was the sorting array which I have printed and as I call this particular bubble ar function that is the void p2 bubble sort bubble ar function which is there the array after sorting is printed after checking with each values and this is the condition we used with the help of conditional statement if which we have studied in our previous video that it is checking with the j minus 1 is checked with j and if that value is greater then it has to be swapped. So this is how sorting is done 